Okay, today uh, I will be uh, mainly sharing some of the uh, social, uh, social uh, media technology that we're using in um, uh, language teaching, in uh, Chinese language teaching. And if I can find the PowerPoint. Emily, is it here? Yes, yes. I can help you with that. Okay, thanks. Um, here. Okay, this. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. <coughs> All right. So in this project, we actually uh, we were talking about what type of tools we're going to use. Uh, in creating this course uh, for Emily's class. Also, at the same time, I'm actually uh, experimenting with some type of social uh, media in my class. Um, so, for example, um, okay, thank you. Last semester and through this semester, I've been using a lot of different type of social media like Twitter, because social media, which is uh, basically internet based tool to uh, promote commu uh, communication and uh, collaboration between students. Uh, f um, for example, this Twitter tool I'm using, uh, students could either ask me a non-academic question, for example this one, uh, asking about homework, or if we uh, go down, uh, another student could also ask me about a specific grammar point or a question that they, don't, they didn't understand in class but they didn't have time to ask me. They probably didn't have time to come to my office so they could easily reach me here and I can provide feedback uh, the same evening. Um, so social media as you can see from this example is a very powerful tool. It's not confined to location or time. Um, and a lot of research actually showed that 93% uh, of young adults in the United States aged between 19, 18 to 29 actually use social media currently. So for educators, our question now is how do we use it to promote student learning? Um, so the way I used it here, uh, in collaboration with a lot of colleagues from the modern languages, uh, uh, especially uh, Yu Peng Yu Lao Shi, Last semester, we tried to use uh, a social media that is very familiar to the students, the Blackboard Learn system, because basically a lot of us don't think it's a social media tool. However, it has a lot of powerful tools built inside. For example, um, in this project, um, okay, I'm going to show you here. Okay, in this project, it's a collaboration between the students. So, for example, in, the, in, in this lesson, um, because we are actually at 300 level, uh, we're switching from uh, informal language to very formal language, and formal writing and speaking in Chinese, which is very hard. So first, we actually ask the students to collaborate, to uh, define a lot of uh, difficult terms and grammar points so they can better understand. In this process, they actually not only looking at each other's answers, they also present this to the whole class for discussion. And for me to look at it, I can provide formative feedback to them. Uh, and in the end, they also work together to create a little presentation. For example, this one, they're talking about uh, uh, social problems in China. Uh, especially uh, marriage. Okay. And then they use this to present to the whole class and uh, spark a whole conversation. So in that process, we actually not only allow the students to collaborate, to communicate, also to see the feedback, which is immediate, which is also very important. Uh, however, there are some challenges in social media. Um, because, for example, the, you can see we did not choose anything like Facebook because Facebook has its limitations. Although it's a real quick communication, uh, you know, it, students tend to discuss off-topic, uh, have dis off-topic discussions. So um, when you are looking at what tools you want to use, I would like to uh, actually point out this study by uh, two professors at the college of uh, at the college, um, Dr. Hofer and Dr. Harris. So this is actually our guideline on how to pick 
tools to use. We first look at what are the curriculum goals we want to achieve, what are some student learning goals we want to achieve. Then we decide what type of activities we want to design to promote that student learning process. So in the end, we can decide, okay, this will be the perfect tool to achieve this goal. Uh, and our goal is actually to make the technology um, so integrated that the students won't even feel there's technology in it. They just feel like, okay, this is very intact learning uh, in atmosphere. Okay, so lastly, I would like to show you something um, Yu Lao Xian and I both youth used last semester. It's an uh, online discussion to called voice thread. So I'll just show you a very uh, brief clip from one of the students. Uh, if we have sound. Okay, so for example, what we did in this project is to, uh, we discussed what type of food is the best for you. Okay, and this is uh, actually a 300 level class where we used a lot of complicated grammar and uh, higher level words. So what we did is we basically put in two pictures talking about food and to, uh, talking about other aspects of uh, modern life in China. And the students could receive a link and record what they discuss. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, sound. But the link is up there, so if you're interested, you can hear, you can also hear the students' progress because um, we have almost one of this project every other class. So you can actually hear the students' pronunciation and everything getting better. Okay. All right. So that will be for me. Who's next? <laughs> 